What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is your breakdown for Vader, Vader time. Now, you all have this trial available, so for those who didn't get to play him when the, he came out, or like maybe you got him a month or a year after uh, the trial was available, and you're like, man, I remember that dude, but I just don't remember how to work him. Here's how. Uh, so Vader is a showboat. He's an aggressive showboat of the choice of the new generation era. He's got links with WCW. Any moves uh, generate one more move point. New generation, and as of recording, no gear. His trainer ability, haha, <laughs> they finally put in the 12K flat blue gym trainer. All uh, right, as that isn't really as relevant anymore. <laughs> but he also has moves that generate blue gems. We'll create two more blue gems, so it is nice. And, I mean, theoretically, if you've got him early on, you've got other things that you're using in that spot. But it is nice that we actually finally have one in the game now. So... That is uh, the introduction. We've got a few different move sets. Uh, I'm going to limit it to three, but I am going to show a couple variations just to, just to show you some fun things this guy does. So let's take a look and see how we like him. Our first move set is the one that you've seen. It does crazy damage. Uh, I won't show it right away with the Ghost Whopper plate, but just for science, I'll put it on there for a fun little bonus bit. But this is the one they adjusted because it was too strong with the Ghost Whopper plate. Uh, but they didn't actually change the power of it. They just changed the MP charge. So uh, plus 99 era is going to be super strong. After that, it'll still be super strong, but you just have to you know finagle the MP a little bit because it is higher charge. So on the bottom, the 6 MP, yellow power bomb deal damage and choose seven gems to make into blue and then increase your yellow mp by five that's the important part then you've got your choke slam deal damage increase your yellow move damage by 60 percent for one turn then the vader assault finisher deal a lot of damage and make 49 random gems into protect gems of strength 200k that's a big one oof ha anyway on your trainers, uh, we got to simulate the post-99 era, so you would need Kofi for yellow moves. Uh, you would also need Asuka for yellow moves, do two more MP, plus yellow moves do 100% more damage. Rick Rude, Hall of Fame, yellow moves do 40% more damage. And K-Quick, yellow finishers do 50% more damage. On the strap, we're going to run a move damage strap, 100%, plus double takedown twos. And I do have a takedown two yellow move damage at 200%. I don't have it on the picture right there, but you are breaking blue and you want to get yellow. So you can set up either, uh, where to go? This one right here, the strong style plate so that that way you are recycling a little bit better. You could finagle it to get multiple in one turn, maybe. Uh, we'll see. But this is how he runs on this first move set. So actually, I don't even have to simulate plus 99 MP because he's already ready already. Plus, we are now on the road against a six-star silver opponent. So we get to actually see some bigger damage here. So you are going to do this little thing right here crazy little thing called love you're gonna probably just go ahead and set up a five match and then make a three match and then just set up another five match three match something just in case actually i'm gonna do it let's see there 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 that'll work uh boop that's going to trigger your plate so it is going to buff your moves up one time and looky, looky, now you can do this again. So you have this. Uh, you're going to buff your yellow move damage by 60%. So you're already at 15 million damage. This is going to take you up again. So bop, bop, bop. Now you're at 24 million. You can use this again to try to reload. But again, you're, you're not going to get all the way there. But... You could just give it one of these, give it one of these, 
and this is why they increase the moves just so you can't go too much farther beyond this right here because otherwise you could keep moving that pin bar but now you're as far as you can go 24 million damage as a six star bronze turn one pretty easy to do not bad let me show you what the ghost whopper does to that <laughs> All right, everything is exactly the same as what we just did, except for right here, we're adding the Ghost Whopper, which is just to show it, because this plate doesn't exist anymore, and uh, very few have it. But just for science, I want to see it. Whenever you activate a yellow move, increase your yellow move damage by 100% for two turns. So we're going to start with a finisher at 15 million. We're going to buff the finisher once. Go ahead and make a five match and a three match. Let me make sure that five match is, yeah, I'll put that there. Ooh, can't do that. Um, put that there just in case. Boop. That's going to increase everything again. So now we're at 17 million, so we're going to increase it again. That should have triggered more than that. Now we're at 32. There we go. <laughs> now we're at 32 million. <laughs> so we're going to do, let's see, what's our pin bar? One, two, three. Plus, so we can't do another set. So let's just throw these in here. Boop, boop. But we do want to swipe that way. Don't cast darn it. The nice thing is Ghost Whopper's two turns, so we get to do all that over again, but you get the idea. That Ghost Whopper, we were already up to 32 million. The next one would have taken us into the 50 million range and easy money. Easy, easy money. So we got it here. Let's see. We're at uh, we're at 22.6, so we're going to buff this by now 160%. We'll play the odds again here. Now we're at 40 million. <laughs> Like I said, you're not going to have this plate. I don't have this plate. It's uh, it's awesome if you do. Congratulations. But my goodness, is it whaley. Like whaley whaley. Wale wale. Boop. There we go. Do this again. Bam. Don't want to play any down. He's already gone actually if i swipe these it's gonna lay it's gonna mess it up but i could go again otherwise so at 47 million this ought to take us into the 60 65 million range 70 million yep 70 million finisher turn one with the ghost whopper that was just for fun just for science thanks for indulging me for a few minutes let's see another move set oh i didn't say uh what I was going to call this moveset. So this moveset is called the you don't even need the protect gems even though they cover the whole board moveset. All right, now now we check another one. The next moveset I'm going to call the I ain't got time to bleed moveset. Uh, the only thing we're really swapping in that's different is the short arm clothesline. 7 MP blue, deal damage, and then deal a boatload of bleed damage. Hello, bleed damage. Welcome to the, the meta. Here you are. Uh, power bomb. Choose your seven gems to make blue. Increases your yellow MP by five. And your finisher is still dealing a ton of damage. Plus, make it protect gems. So this is gem damage. Or I'm sorry. It's bleed damage, move damage, protect gems, all in one massive shot. It is insane. On your entourage, you're going to need Kofi post 99 MP, and quite frankly, you might actually need uh, to eat a turn this way too, because you'd still be at 6 MP, uh, just so you know. Might not be loaded turn one, won't be in certain modes like Feud. However, you're going to want to move that uh, because you need Apollo, 150% more bleed damage. If you don't have Apollo, there are other bleed trainers, most notably Old Striker Seth would be uh, in the picture, plus you've got your Scott Steiner and and some others. Woods for another 50% more bleed, and Kyrie for another 40% more bleed, which means he's doing 9.7 million bleed for two turns. But wait, there's more, because if you can get the power bomb to reload twice, 
you can or to reload it twice you can do oh i don't know like 39 million bleed turn one let's try it and see but first on the strap everything's the exact same except for we have taken off the ghost whopper plate doesn't exist it's gone again as mentioned you don't start loaded turn one so you're going to need to eat a turn or you would have to use santa hogan and sacrifice some bleed damage so I'm just going to go ahead and let Solo put out his Juggernaut gems. It's just nice to be able to face a six-star silver on the road, isn't it? I love it. I loving it. All right, so now you can see turn two, the magic starts. Uh, you want to choose seven to make into blue. You need five of them to load this one up. So you're going to do a five match and a three match uh, because that's the way things need to go so do here 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 and then pop on that three match right there that's going to also help reload your yellows so now you could do it again yes 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 you can but I don't know why you would need to uh, in terms of loading your other move this you could just add for effect just to kind of keep things going show what it looks like here all right so now here's where we've got the bleed move where we are uh doing 9.7 for two turns so once you pin him and they're in the protects yeah he's not going to get out of that you have five move spots on your uh board so you're not going to be able to stack it twice the way i've done it but plus 99 MP, you 100% will be able to. And then you just hit this, which is also a 10 million move. So you're going to do 10 million move damage plus 10 million bleed damage plus whatever you've done in the move up to that. And there's big old protect gems, so he's not going to get out of it, and he's done. Six silver, one turn, easy. I'm amazed. But there's more. Your final move set is what I'm going to call that time Vader was on uh, Baywatch and squashed the football or basketball because that's what he's doing. He's squashing you like that football or basketball here. Six MP moves all around, all red. Body avalanche, your uh, five, six MP move, deals damage, moves a five by five random area into reinforced gems. The Vader hammers, uh, another deal and damage, make 14 of those reinforced gems into multiply. And then your Vader bomb, deal damage, and choose six by six area to swap red. Oh my goodness, holy cows. Uh, yeah, you could do a number of things with the multi gems. Uh, I put Andre on here for red move start with two more MP and go up by one. You could uh, very well maybe even put, uh, in fact, we might test it with Mosh there instead. You've got uh, your red MP trainers, one of the three. Then you're going to want to put your red uh, 12K damage and Memrock for multiply increasing by one. So now they're up to his times 16 yes you could put sherry there uh and a couple others but i figure sherry's probably the more rare mosh is what will run just for science one last time and on your plates now the strap i did change out for 100 percent gem i'm sorry 50 percent gem damage strap with double fury twos this one is a uh 35 all gem damage so it is like having 100 percent gem damage on there bulldog bracers whenever you generate 10 or more reinforced gems increase your yellow by 25 your red by 75 for three turns and of course as you could always run on anybody who make, breaks a lot of red uh the sheriff's plate whenever you break 15 or more red generate 30 yellow gems just for added fun that's all that's there for so let's see it this way and then we'll run it with mosh just to kind of show you what that does you start loaded turn one, which is amazing. You're going to make a random five by five area. And by the way, the move damage is no slouch either. So you could, of course, buff that up. You've got 840, 8, uh, 1.6, and 840. So uh, it's not, uh, not small by any means. Pause. And then you're going to make these into times 16. That's a whole lot of them. Then you're going to make a 6x6 six six random area into red, which is going to also hit reinforce. So you're going to break lots of them twice and the rest of them 16 times. 
This is a six bronze. Keep that in mind because you will at six silver do double the amount of damage that you are seeing here, which by the way is, uh, you know, 16 million. So easy 32 million turn one, flawless recycle. Yeah, the move damage build is spicy. Yeah, the bleed is spicy. This is also pretty caliente spicy as well. Also, same move set with triple red. The only thing we've done is change out Andre for Mosh. Uh, you would need to substitute in uh, Santa Hogan if you want to start loaded turn one in certain modes like Feud. However, now you're making 19 random gems into strength 16. So, yeah, let's just show you how this does because it's a lot. It's a lot of damage. Um, turn one, flawless recycle, all that good stuff for what is perhaps a, uh, a phenomenal character. In fact, I was wrong. No matter what, you're going to need at least one MP on everything. So uh, without Santa Hogan, you are eating a turn or you put in Santa Hogan and you eat uh, your red gem damage or, um, you know, Memrock, one of the two. But that's okay. Well, other than the fact that he just got that going for himself, this is going to go poorly right now. All right, so in order to start loaded turn one, you would have to swap out uh, one of your trainers for Santa Hogan, or, you know, you're going to lose a, a little bit. Like here, I, I went ahead and cut a part of this because as you can see from my health, he got his moves going because I had to eat a turn. However, uh, you can still see what this does with the plus 99 MP, and then you'd want to swap out Stacy or Memrock for the Santa Hogan to get started turn one. But either way, either way, this is going to hit for a, an insane amount of damage. You've got a whole board full of times 16 right there, plus you're going to leave the reinforce, plus we've got lots of red on the edges, Plus, the sheriff's badge is going to go off. We've already triggered the uh, Bulldog's Bracers. I mean, it is just so much devastation. 20 million turn one with a six bronze. I'm sorry, turn two, unless you had S Santa Hogan, with a six bronze. 40 million damage. And uh, none of that is super rare. That's awesome. Wow. So... Be sure and check out Vader's power rating. We're going to do on the official champions channel on Friday. Uh, and if it's past Friday, just check out our videos because we've probably got it out there. But I guarantee this guy is powerful. This guy is strong. He's new gen. He's a great coach trainer. Uh, he's got a lot going for him. And uh, just the protect gem, bleed gem, yellow gem, blue gem, red gem. I mean, this guy has so many boxes he ticks. I hope you get him. I hope I get him. I'll see you on the next one. For Rusty, this is Lee for Champions Chat. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.